First off, to create good GIFs, you need to have Photoshop. You can't export good quality transparent GIFs with After Effects, Premiere, or Illustrator. You can get okay GIFs in earlier versions of Flash, but you have to publish your animation, not just file save as GIF. What you're looking at right now is the same animation made in Flash turned into a GIF that will work on any color background without leaving pixelated white edges. Yes, the outline will be blocky and sharp, but that's the sacrifice you make to display it on any background color. From left to right is the best quality you can get out of Flash CS6, Flash CC, and Photoshop. Here's the same GIF with smooth edges, which causes a white halo. The more complicated your GIF is, the more noticeable the difference will be. One thing you can do to reduce pixelation is delete blur, glow, and other filters. Notice in Flash CC, the movie clips break the GIF anyway. In Photoshop, you can optimize for the blue background by changing the matte. You can optimize in Flash by changing your project's stage color. Notice now you'll have a blue halo because you optimized for a blue background. Let's start with how to make the best quality GIFs in Photoshop. In Flash, isolate what you want as a GIF into its own file. Change all movie clips into graphics, and now go to File, Export, Export Movie, PNG Sequence. You probably want to create a separate folder for all these PNGs, by the way. Turn your colors up as high as possible and check Smooth. In Photoshop, click File, Open, and then click on the first image in your sequence. Check the box that says Image Sequence, and press Open. Match the frames per second to what you used in your Flash file. Now, if you go to Window, Timeline, or Window Animation in CS6 or below, you can see your animation. If you want, you can resize the whole GIF now by using Image Image Size. Time to save it! Go to File, Save for Web, and choose GIF in the dropdown. If your art has lots of colors, turn up the colors here. The more colors you add, the bigger your file will get, so beware of that. Check Transparency. For your GIF to work on all background colors, turn off the map. To optimize your GIF for a specific background color, get the color hex code and use custom in the map box to paste it in. If you have gradient colors, set to Diffusion Transparency Dither. You can play with the dither to get the colors to show how you want. If you need to reduce the file size, turn up lossy, but it's going to reduce your file quality too. Set animation looping options to forever, save, and you're done. Now we'll go over exporting purely with Flash. In Flash, isolate what you want as a GIF into its own file. Publish settings and uncheck everything except GIF. In Flash CS6, you have lots of options. These are the settings you probably want to start with. Playback animated, check optimized and smooth, and set transparent to transparent. If your art has tons of different colors and gradients, change the palette to adaptive. For a smoother look on gradient fills, you can turn on dither and set it to diffuse. You can try ordered for a different look, but you can't really tell the difference on an adaptive color palette. You will be able to tell the difference on a web 216 palette. For your GIF to work on any color background, you need to turn off smooth. Note if your GIF has semi-transparent pieces, they probably will export with the wrong color. So you want to set the opacity of those problem pieces to 100% to fix that problem. In Flash CC, you have no options. Turn off smooth if your GIF needs to work on all background colors. GIFs published with CC will have weird dots on solid colors. You can do a file export export movie animated GIF for a normal looking GIF, but transparency doesn't work and your background will be the solid color of the stage, which totally defeats the entire purpose of this tutorial. <laughs> That's all there is to creating GIFs with transparent backgrounds, or GIFs, however you want to say it. <laughs>